Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. Today we are in the car to record this episode because we're not only going to talk about, but we're going to show you one pedal driving while towing. Yeah, uh, Gail will interview me while we drive so that I can focus as much as possible on the driving. We're going to record this episode with three different cameras and we'll display all three. One camera will, will be pointed at Devin's foot on the gas pedal. You can see how his foot operates while we are towing in traffic. So let's get started. Just a note, please stick with us until the very end. My last question to Devin, question number 10 will be, is one pedal driving more efficient? And you'll be interested to hear his answer. So Devin, what is one pedal driving? Well, that's a, that's a great question for starting uh, as we head out now with the, with the trailer in tow. Um, one pedal driving is driving with just the use of the gas pedal uh, in an electric vehicle. And it's kind of magical. Uh, it sounds really scary. Uh, I remember the first time I heard about it was uh, with the Tesla. The very first Tesla Roadster came only with a one pedal driving mode. And I remember thinking I could never learn how to do that, uh, which is funny. Uh, it, it's not hard to do. Uh, well, the first time I heard about it, it kind of freaked me out. I thought, how in the world does that work? Yeah, that yeah. was interesting. And it, it's really quite easy. So how do you activate one pedal driving? Well, it's different in every car, and I haven't driven many electric vehicles, but in both the Leaf and the Bolt, it was in an odd place uh, that was not very intuitive. Uh, on the gear selector, when you selected L, like low, that is the one pedal driving mode on both the Leaf, uh, the 2012 Leaf that we used to drive, and in the 2017 Bolt we're in right now. So uh, it, how you engage it in, in a car may differ, and it may differ in its performance a little bit, uh, like the Rivian is, has a very adjustable system that allows you to select uh, your own level of regeneration default. And so it's, it's, it's fancier by far than our vehicle, but uh, so you have to figure out how it works in your uh, EV, but it's never hard never hard to engage the one pedal driving mode. So how then is one pedal driving different when you're towing the trailer? Well, the key thing is, it's the key difference that occurs when you are towing a trailer in regular mode. And that is that uh, stopping distances are longer. There's a lot of weight back there and you're accustomed to stopping the vehicle with a lot less weight and you need more stopping distance. And of course, when you're trying to uh, be deliberate about using one pedal driving, especially with that goal of being more efficient uh, in your uh, mileage and your preserving range, you've got to start slowing down earlier when you're towing a vehicle. So if you're starting out brand new, trying this out, do you recommend that they, they practice like in a, an empty parking lot? You know, the funny thing is it is so incredibly easy to do this that uh, no, you don't need to do anything but start driving and try to try it out. Hmm. That's great. That's great. So how long does it take to really learn and get comfortable with doing one, one pedal driving? Uh, yeah, it's almost instant. It is almost instant because uh, the way the car operates. Uh, when when you're in one pedal driving mode, when you take your foot off the gas, the car really slows down. So if you want to uh, maintain your speed, you've got to keep your foot on the gas a little bit. Uh, and so as soon as you have gone to the grocery store and back, you've kind of figured out how it works consciously and developing good habits just takes more time and practice doing it. But it, it I have found it really is great. It was easy to, easy to learn. Oh, good, good, good. And so when you rent a car that doesn't have that, <laughs> does it feel odd? Oh, yes, 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 yes. How is the feel of stopping different with one pedal driving? That is, to me, the most interesting thing about one pedal driving is the 
how it feels when you stop. When you stop with a brake, one of the things that you become accustomed to is there is a little jerk, a little rock of the car when you come to a complete stop. There is this uh, final sense, aha, I have stopped. You may only have your feet lightly on the brake at that point, but uh, you still get at the very end that kind of satisfying little rock. When you're uh, stopping in one pedal mode, uh, you don't get that same rock. The car just stops and it's, it slowly eases to a stop and there is no jerk at all. Yeah, and as a passenger, that's what I've noticed. It's just so much smoother to get to that stop with one pedal driving. Yeah. One of the things about the Bolt uh, that uh, is a little different than other EVs, some may have this, our Leaf did not, uh, is uh, it has a, a regen paddle on the steering wheel. And so when uh, I want to slow down more than uh, when I just lift my foot off the gas, I can grab this paddle and engage a little more regen uh, so that the, we generate more electricity, create more friction, and as a result, slow the car more rapidly. It's an interesting little uh, cheat. Uh, to allow me to slow the car more without using the brake. So are you using it right now? Yes, I am actually using that right now, coming down this little hill toward a busy intersection. Look how smooth that stops. It's just so nice. So question number seven, is one pedal driving safe? Yes, uh, it is, uh, and I think it is right from the start for someone who has the uh, habit of driving with two pedals, uh, because you know where the brake is, and you're, you'll go there by default uh, to the brake if there is an emergency. Mm -hmm. But um, an interesting evidence that this is uh, a safer way to drive, to try and use the one pedal mode exclusively is that uh, when Tesla was deciding who could beta test full self-driving on its vehicles, it uh, imposed a rule that you had to be among the safest drivers. And one of their definitions for safe drivers was someone who never touched the brake. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's a, safe, it's a safe way to drive. Fantastic. So question number eight. How does weather impact one pedal driving? Yeah, you know, one pedal, uh, weather can make driving more dangerous uh, in all kinds of situations, especially rain, snow, ice. Um, but because the one pedal mode is going to use relatively easy and relatively constant levels of friction when you take your foot off the gas to stop the car, uh, the result that there is pretty even driving. So in a rainy situation, in general, uh, you shouldn't need to make uh, any other adjustment. One pedal driving should be safer uh, than trying to brake, which would provide uh, less even stopping. Uh, similarly, when on snow, when I used to use the one pedal driving mode, you know, now we live in Florida, but we used to live in Utah. And when we lived in Utah, we would deal with snow and ice, uh, I never had a problem with the one pedal driving uh, with the wheels slipping or losing traction. That said, they still could, right, uh, in an extreme situation. But of course, if you're going to lose traction by slowing with one pedal driving, you would definitely lose traction with braking similarly. So it's, uh, it is no worse or different than than with uh, conventional driving, two pedal driving, but it's, um, uh, you do have to be aware of that, that weather a little bit. So question number nine, can you use one pedal driving while you're going in reverse? No, that's a great question. Uh, at least on the cars we've owned, uh, the one pedal driving mode is only a forward direction feature. Okay, here's question number 10, the one I, 
hope you're all listening for. Does one pedal driving improve mileage and range? That's kind of the idea of it. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I do it. Uh, I really try to do everything I can to improve mileage. And, and of course, the in fact, it is true that it improves mileage. Because if you use the brake and, and you engage the brake so that you're stopping with the friction of traditional brake pads, uh, that's just wasted energy. That has, energy is gone, uh, wasted, converted into heat, uh, and, and it's not recoverable. Uh, however, when you stop with the regeneration, of course, you, um, you're recovering some of the energy that you expended to achieve speed. You're re regenerating that as you stop. And that's these regenerative brakes uh, work like that in all electric vehicles and hybrids. Here's the thing though. When you push on the brake in an EV or a hybrid, uh, the car automatically uses the car's regeneration system to stop the vehicle, not the friction conventional brakes. If you keep pushing down harder and harder, eventually the brakes engage. But what the car is doing is stopping by default with regeneration, even if you use the brake pedal. So the difference in efficiency is very small, and I've never been able to measure a difference. I haven't done any scientific experiments or even quasi-scientific experiments to test that, but uh, when I figured out how to do this uh, 12 or 18 months ago, I didn't notice a difference in our mileage. So why, do, this is question number 11, why do you like one pedal driving? So I really like one pedal driving just because it's a little bit easier and it really feels natural. Uh, and it's a comfortable, comfortable way to drive. If you already have an EV and you haven't tried the one pedal mode, you're, you're ready for it, I, I, I'm confident. Well, um, it has been a kind of a fun exercise to, to do this. Um, I think I have successfully made this journey uh, without using the brake once. So we've, wow. we've stopped, I don't know, a dozen yeah. different times, uh, slowed uh, a few times more than that, and uh, I don't think we've used the brake pedal once. Uh, so it's, uh, it does make for smooth driving, and we did that even with the trailer in tow. And it, although it's a small trailer, yeah. it's, a, it's a big load for this little car, yeah. and it still worked. Yeah. Well, we hope you find this video helpful. In the coming weeks, we'll be sharing some of the process for completing the solar panel installation on our trailer, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks for coming with us on our journey today. We'd love to hear from you, including any feedback you have with your experience with one pedal driving. Yeah, the easiest way for you to be in touch with us uh, is to uh, comment on the video or on our newsletter. Uh, you can uh, reply to the newsletter. So if you haven't subscribed, we invite you to do that. Visit uh, OurSolarTrailer.com uh, and subscribe there. And then you can just re reply with your feedback uh, right directly to us. And we try to respond to comments and to all the emails that we get. So please, please be in touch. We'd love to hear from you. Bye. Bye. Bye.